Hi, this is Fee from Diamond in the Rough and I have an unboxing, although it's an unboxing of a slightly different type. It's still a diamond painting. It is actually of this, which is a custom. And the company it came from, this is actually from Evermoment. Now the custom was ordered, I ordered it um, for my mum. Uh, she was going to do it. And the reason why this is different is, and it's not in a tube, is because she started to tackle it um, and has discovered that she can't do it. Um, she can't sit for long periods of time. So yeah, um, she's 700 k's away. She's not really seen much in the way of me doing diamond painting. And she's sent it back up to me. So this is this is actually the Esperance Tanker Jetty. Um, in its all its beauty okay so the unboxing is based on she set up <laughs> okay and she's been working on these and this is her box of goodies so I'm going to be unboxing this and working my way through what I am also going to do I'll move that box oops actually this is it. Um, I got got this printed out on an A3 sheet of paper. So what I also have is the canvas. Now the canvas didn't come to me rolled. What I did do as soon as I got my hands on it, I actually did what I could um, to get it out. So what I've done is I pulled it out of the can out of the plastic bags that they were in which was these bags and rolled it up so it would uh, be a lot better actually pull this out okay so this is what it looks like uh, hang on I'm just trying to find my scissors I had to scotch tape it together around to keep it round to keep it closed up. Um, I use scotch tape because it's just, well, two reasons. One was I was actually at work when this was brought to me, so it's about the only tape I had my hands, I could get my hands on, but scotch tape is um, very forgiving and I'm able to lift it without um, pulling drills off so I can still, oops, that's uh, stuck to the that's other glue on the side okay there we go me saying it's so forgiving it's not forgiving on that glue on the um, adhesive on the seal which just try and get that off gently okay peel it there we go that's got that one uh, what else? Where else did I tape it? So this is an unboxing. So for the crinkling noise, this is an unboxing, and this is um, because I've received this and it's partially done. Um, it's pretty scary <laughs> for those that love your diamond paintings, which is most of us that do this. Um, this is scary to see how this is being worked on but she's worked on it the best that she can without any real I suppose watching of how I do it I think seen some of it oh gosh I put so much scotch tape on now it's all sticking to me I've got one more there and there we go. So this has been worked on. Gosh, get the tape off. And worked on in different sections. Just bear we will like unroll this. Um can't remember what size this was. 
trusty tape measure. I think it's a 60. Yeah, it's about a 60 by 90. Okay. So where I say it needs, um, there's, there's been stuff worked on it. So you can actually see sections worked on. And I am actually going to remove the full canvas of this, the, the full cover. Because this has been worked on at the top. It's been worked on at the bottom. It's been worked on on the bottom left. So I'm actually removing the whole canvas off of this and going with uh, well, you, what, I suppose parchment paper but not so this is glad bake this is what I use instead of parchment paper um, because I suppose actually I might leave this couple of sections on there because it's so misshapen and there's different bits done so we've got all the way along there Bear with me while I do this. I'm going to remove from the, there to there. Okay. Because that cam that cover's just not going to do anything for it. Glad bake. Oh, brand new roll. Look at that. You might find the nails look pretty, but I can tell you one thing, at times they do get frustrating. Okay. Remove that one. Back in. So what I'm doing is enough to cover it. just put a bit of light on there so you might be able to see a bit better what's going on there come on shine there we go so you can see that this has been done um, example of the glad bake on up the sticky stain um, and glad bake doesn't matter which side it will still stick Okay, no, I just need to get that over a bit more. Okay, so that one's back on there. I can see what's been done. No, I still need to go across to the left a bit. That's better. Okay, so I can see what's been done, what needs to be done of that section. Right, now let's go to the next. Now, the lady that brought this up to me turned around and said, you know, how much trouble my mum had had doing this. Um, and she said she'd dropped some. And I thought she meant on the floor or something. Um, if you actually look here, I'm not sure whether these ones here are meant to be there. Where do I put my tweezers? Bear with me while I dig out my tweezers. There they are. Um, I don't even know what colour that actually is. Oh no, I think maybe she has. They're just crooked. Okay. So this is going to be a diamond painting rescue. Um, all of these ones that are crooked I will actually have to lift up and have a look at now 
I don't need to worry about cover on that section but I will on here need to I have a big desk but sometimes it's just not big enough okay so I'm going to rip the canvas off about there canvas the cover oops that was clever that's clever that didn't cut properly there we go okay I don't need much baking on here great thing about this is I can see what's been done okay so that's covered right uh, bottom left corner now let's go have a look at this one scotch tape this one on to try and keep it okay and there now I've got bits there that there's not much sticky on I'm gonna have to try and revive that um, first way to tr try to re revive that glue is sorry tape again um, the best way to try and resolve that lacquer sticky so you can hear there's that one still some um, but yeah the way to resolve that gosh there's other stuff stuck onto it gosh 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 okay um, is to wet it first to see if that brings the glue back if that doesn't do it because I, I think what it is it's not necessarily that it removes it it does the glue it removes whatever might be covering up the glue if that doesn't work I will try the um, is it the nail polish method and see how that goes now removing this bit here yep. Okay, that's gone. Uh, oh, put that up there. Okay, actually, don't need as much of that parchment on there. Parchment, baking paper. There we go. Okay, so. Canvas wise, this is an ever moment. Um, fingers crossed. Um, I can rescue it. I believe I can. I should be able to. Um, but there we go. Now, with the work that's already been done, hopefully there hasn't been too much in the way of lost drills. Um, but now I need to. So this canvas I will now, what I will do is I'll get my coat hanger hooks up there and uh, hang this up. Okay, but it's off to the floor for now. The next steps for this, uh, this one is to work out what container I want to put it in for storage. So I'm going to reduce this big box. Hang on, sorry. So this box, which is thirty-five by forty and only half full, I'm going to reduce that down into either this, the uh, Elizabeth Ward storage, or into craft mates so this has got 44 colors so what I work on is um, pull the drills out try and work out how much drills I need to worry about packaging um, so I'm gonna I suppose if I could pull this out I will so these are all in containers um, so which I think quite 
there's a few that, of you that do this. Um, might do a demonstration afterwards of... Gosh, I'm not even high enough. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Um, mum, mum, mum. Let's try and get the angle right. Okay. Right. Do it this way. So these are the containers. I think they're about you guys in the US, it's about an inch deep. Um, so yeah. What I'm what I aim to do is I will sort these out, look at what sizing I need for storage, whether I need to go with um, the Doris or the Elizabeth Ward or whether I could go with another one or oh, the um, craft mates okay so there's 42 colors 44 colors sorry um, so not only in the I also have extra beads so there's no inventory being done on this one would be my guessing <laughs> um, but ever moment is one of those where so long as you've got every color you don't really worry about quantity because they're pretty good with their quantity I don't know of anyone that's run out of drills or well, I should say I haven't seen any youtubers say that they've run out of drills okie dokie so what did the kit contain what I have also received okay was there's that tray I have another white boat but I also have a boat with a cutout so that's a little bit different for I don't know whether anybody else with ever moments received those um, so yeah I don't know actually whether that oh no that, that yeah so that's she's received those um, I also have diamond pens and I'd say for the size of it there is two ever moment tweezers um, I don't think she got the Mimo one keep the covers on the tweezers because <laughs> of how sharp they are so I've gained more ever moment tweezers so the aim is to put all of these which is four high into a storage container I have already yuck, 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 yuck. I've already done my labels up using the Xyron and I will actually time lapse this set because this is going to take quite a while um, while I work my way through sort them into numerical order and then work sizing and work out how I'm going to put them so if I use the Elizabeth Ward I will sort them into symbols letters and numbers um, which is actually my preference um, so what about else about this so this is this is actually a very gorgeous picture very gorgeous um, the, there's no 310s, 939s, there is 101, 823s, there's 196. For those of you that like the black, uh, that look at the blacks or the very dark blacks, um, there's not very much black in that. So this is going to be gorgeous to do. Um, highest amount of colour is the 519, which is in there somewhere hang on this is the 519 um sorry 519 so what my mum's done is she's written on 519 on the side and she's done the symbol 
on both sides okay um, and that's what she's done right throughout which is really good for you guys that don't get into using the storage packages that's just a great thing to do I would suggest though you use a sharpie pen um, because what was used was a dry ink dry erase ink indicator which means it can rub off so if you're going to use this system use a sharpie pen but once I've done this once I've um, put this all into storage I will then show you the comparison between all these containers and getting them into what well, I suppose either the Craftmates or the Elizabeth Ward storage so watch the time lapse if you want fast forward to the time lapse through it and um, wait and see what the results are Okay, all done, all set up, um, all in contain. well, I'm sorry, not all in containers. What you'll see is I, well, I, you may have noticed that I didn't actually put everything into these containers. Um, one of them is because if I'd actually managed to get everything in, I'd be, uh, I would have run out of room in, inside the Craftmates containers although I do have one empty one I could have ended up with um, all of these two full and, and yeah so what I did do is I some of these obviously the ones that I've got a lot I haven't put in so 519 which is the largest of them uh, which has you know, 10,000 drills um, obviously I'm not going to be able to do that I probably would have taken up three three sections of that um, what I have done though is what I've learnt so far is when you have some companies give a lot of extra drills so you end up putting them into little baggies 
you know, popping them into little baggies for storage or you put them into jars for storage. What I have done is um, a good example is the 3816, okay? So 3816 is full and I have a bag. 3816 had 2671. A strange feeling I'm not going to need this one so instead of having to worry about this one going in a ziplock baggie I actually have this one in a one bag where I know that there's between 160 and 200 so that's why some of these are actually only um, single bags because I believe that I might not need to use all of the um, bags and if I can leave it in a bag as opposed to a ziplock baggie um, just keeps it a bit better and your better idea of your quantity of what you've got for those that for those that are sitting in this what I did is you will see there's a black dot on this one I've put a black dot on this one this one has a black dot this one has a black dot this one has a black dot okay so the reason I did that is while I'm working away and I get low, I can actually go, oh, I'm getting low this one. Oh, that's okay, because I've got spare bags. I've got spare, spare bags put aside for this. 3822, so there's not much in that 3822. It's pretty empty. This is a really good example. 3822 requires 436 what I did put in 3822 was six bags, so it should be just under the 600 mark in there. So there's a bag of 200, 160, 200 put aside that I may not need to open. And if I don't have to open them, um, yeah, it's better, it's better, better, better. Okay, so this one is um, Esperance Tanker Jetty. Where did I put the good picture? I cut one picture out. So, Esperance Tanker Jetty, I think it's a 60 by 90. Um, this is actually one for my mum, my mum wanted to do. It's actually um, going to go as a fundraiser. So it shall look really gorgeous when it's all um, done up. I will tackle this one soonish. Um, the only reason why I've done this, I just needed to sort this out because I just couldn't have the big box and a messy um diamond painting um so yeah this one is this one will be worked on after i complete my durban custom which i've got less than a quarter to do so i've got about um probably only about 30 by 30 section to do which is not in the speed that i've been working lately and the amount that i've been doing isn't too long if i throw in a couple of work shifts in there um, I do what I will do is for the craft mates I will put I will do it now actually might as well do it now while I'm talking to you so you see what I'm doing blade and roll up <coughs> because I have the full inventory I'm not too stressed about this bit Okay, cut this. Cut this. Cut this. Okay. Great thing about the craft mates is got spine on these. Unfortunately, I can't put it up the right way, but at least the spine, I can see what picture that is. So I pop these all the way. So there we go. That's another one all kitted up, good to go. Um, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> 
Just be one of those people that stands up in like AA, you know, alcohol synonymous or any of the drug things going, I haven't brought a diamond painting for one month. <laughs> Not funny, but it is funny. You know, I think, what's today's date? It's the 15th of January. So, I think, when was my last? Yeah, the um, last diamond painting I brought was the boot, which I have completed. And I think I purchased that at the beginning of December and I received it something like that. When did I receive it? I don't know. Yeah, but that was that was the last one I, I purchased. So therefore, I haven't I haven't brought a diamond painting for more than a month. Woohoo! For those of us that um, tend to buy a lot, I will say I have four diamond paintings yet to even put into storage containers which is driving me nuts but I can't put them into storage containers until um, I've emptied containers which is what I've just done I've emptied this one because the boot was done so yeah for anybody interested I think while I'm working on this one um, I'm not sure with the drip I might do live drill with me's on this one um, because there's some others that I'll do that I'm actually going to turn around and talk more about my travels so for comments on what you think of this um, the tanker jetty is actually in Esperance Western Australia um, it's got one of the it, the beaches there are absolutely amazing the waters are amazing and if any of you have my web page which is my personal web page is um, on one of my draw with me so when I yak about it I put it in there um, the main page is actually um, Blue Haven which is a beach in Esperance but yeah so I will talk to you later about this one please like subscribe thumbs up put a comment go to the bell we we'll keep up to date with whenever I send anything and thanks for watching bye